Hi guys, today I want to show you a quick tips about how to get the users within a specified team. As we know, the, the relationship between team and user is end-to-end. -end. So it's a little complicated to get all the users uh, for a specified team. But we can get that. We can uh, get these users through the Power Automate. So, okay, firstly, let's look at my uh, requirement. So here's a team. The team name is Warehouse One. So I want to get all the team members within this team. So actually, you can see uh, we have two members here. So I want to get the two members through the Power Automate. Okay, so firstly, let's look at the relationship between uh, the user and the team. So you can see in the user entity, so the relationship is end to end, right? So we just double click this relationship, then we will get this relationship. So the relationship name is team membership. Okay, so now let's go to the uh, the flow. Okay, so for demo purpose, I just create a manual triggered flow. So the first step is we get the team. A specified team that means we, we just get this team warehouse one team okay so the filter I just said logical name equal warehouse one uh, then after this step I will get this team record okay then I will get all the users within this, this team so the next uh, I just get is least the rules uh, connector uh, or step we just uh, the table name is users so here I will use the fetch XML query so how to create this query well we can use this uh, we can use the uh, uh, tool names fetch XML builder okay this uh, this software Everyone, I think everyone will know this, right? XML toolbox. So the application name is Fetch XML Builder. Okay, we just create a new one. So firstly, we don't, we will uh, retrieve, we will get all the users. We don't limit, uh, restrict to top, top end. So we just remove this. Then we will get the system user. The system user is the logical name of user entity system user okay then next you know it's we need a link entity the link entity is uh, actually it's a relationship between team and user the relationship was we just saw uh we just found this uh team the relationship is team membership right okay we just choose or we can type directly team membership. Okay, so for the user, absolutely from system user ID to system user ID. Then we just scroll down, it's intersect because we will use another uh, link entity, it's for the team. Okay, the the uh the team we just choose team, and here we will from team ID to team ID, because I will give it a specified team GUID to filter the team. Then from this team we'll get all the user ID within this team. Then get the user. That's the logic. Okay. Here, uh, link type, okay, we just uh, give it an alias, uh, whatever. We just see team, like team GUID. Okay. Now, that's it. But we, I need uh, more, I need one more uh, attribute. So I just won't get the full name. Okay, the full name here, 
So let's uh, for the team. I need get I need to put a filter here. That means I will, I will give it a specified GUID. Just click filter. So should be team ID. Team ID. Yeah. Operator is equal. Uh, the value the value whatever. So here okay. So later we will replace this all these zeros uh, in the PowerMate uh, with the uh, the team GUID. Okay, so now let's copy this uh, XML script and uh, paste into the the power on mate. Now we just uh, replace this, all the zeros with the team uh, team ID, GUID. Okay, so now let's have a test. Okay, it's done. Let's look at the result. Uh, click download. Okay, let's control all. Then we just find the JSON viewer here. The viewer. Okay, you can see we get two users. The first user name Andrew, right? The ne next one is Forest. Okay, let's look at. You can see we get. The users successfully. Well, that's it. So uh, you can check uh, the URL uh, below uh, in, in this video's descri uh, description for more details. Yeah, hopefully these tips could be helpful for you to get the records based on end-to-end uh, -end relationship. Yeah, thank you.